Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Griffin app. Now, the Griffin app is an automated investing app that allows you to purchase fractional shares of stocks based on your shopping habits. And so all you need to do to use this app is to link a credit or debit card that you usually use to shop with or to make any purchases, whether in store or online. And then for every transaction that you make on the credit card or the debit card that you connect, Griffin will take $1 out of your account and transfer it into your Griffin brokerage account. And if the company that you shopped with is a publicly traded company, then Griffin will automatically invest $1 into the company that you shopped with. And so based on the transactions that you make every week, every Wednesday, for every transaction that you've made, they'll add up that dollar and then they'll make that transfer from your connected checking account into your Griffin brokerage account. And so how much would I invest if I were to use the Griffin app? Well, since it is based on your shopping habits and based on your individual transactions for the accounts that you connect to Griffin, then it will be based on how many transactions you have. Like I said, for every single transaction that you make, there will be $1. So if you have 50 transactions during that week, then the next week you will have $50 transferred into your Griffin brokerage account. Now, not every company that you shop with is a publicly traded company. So for the companies that you shop with that aren't publicly traded, that means they're a private company, then you will, you will still have a dollar transferred into your account, but that dollar will be just sitting in your brokerage account as savings. So not only is this an investment account, but you can also consider it a savings account since you can actually have cash sitting in your account if it's due to a transaction with a private company. And so what's so great about this app? And so I'll use an example of a place that I shop at, not very often, but every once in a while. Let's take Starbucks, for example. So each time you go to Starbucks, you know you're gonna spend probably five or $6 per item. And so for every $5 that you spend, when you go to Starbucks, since that would be one transaction, it would actually turn into $6 spent because you would have $5 actually spent at Starbucks. Then you would have a dollar taken out of your account the next week, but that $1 would then be invested into Starbucks stock. And so unlike apps where you get stock back, like a bits of stock or the bumped app where you would actually get free money essentially, which is used to purchase stock. In those instances, you may get a couple cents or if you have a really large transaction, maybe you would get a dollar. But in this case, for every single individual transaction, no matter how much the transaction was, you would get $1 deposited into your Griffin app and that would be used to purchase Starbucks stock. And so if you go to Starbucks every day, that means you would have $5 or $7 if you go every single day of the week. $7 going towards purchasing Starbucks stock. And that goes for any other place that you go to as well. That's just an example. It could be Dunkin' Donuts, it could be Amazon, it could be Apple. And if you think about some of these companies that I've mentioned, over the course of a decade of consistently shopping with that store or going to that restaurant. There's a lot of money that you spend with those companies and with an app like Griffin, you will now be invested in those companies as well. And so looking at the charts of Starbucks, looking at the chart of Amazon and Apple, if you look at over the, just the past decade, these companies' stock value have grown significantly. And all many of you probably have done is just shop with them and not invest in those companies. Now this gives you an automated way to invest in the same companies that you're actually helping to grow their stock value. And so over the course of the decade, this could turn into hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, not only just from the dollars that you're investing, but from the growth of those companies as well over that time period. And so this is actually a great way to follow Warren Buffett's advice of investing in what you know and also dollar cost averaging since that dollar would be invested or those multiple dollars would be invested every week of the year. But not every company that you would maybe shop with, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great investment. And so Griffin thought of this when they first created the app, you didn't have this feature. And so for the companies that maybe you shop with but you wouldn't actually want to invest in, you can actually disable them within the app. And so that way, even if you go and you shop at that specific store, all Griffin will do is transfer that dollar as savings. That dollar won't actually be invested in that company. And so all you have to do is 
select whichever company that you don't want to invest in, whether it's a, an old transaction, you can go to that transaction and then go to that company. And then at the top right corner of the app, you'll see that there's three horizontal lines. You click on that, and this is where you can see the status of this particular company. And so if you wanna disable it, you can choose to disable it. If it's already disabled and you want to re-enable it, then you can enable it on this page as well. And you can actually do this ahead of time. So if there's a store that you know that you're gonna shop at or that you shop at often and it's a publicly traded company, then you can actually go to the search on the company's list page, type in the name of that company and go ahead and disable that company now. That way in the future, you don't have to think about it because again, this is automated. You're not gonna have to open this app every day in order to check on it, maybe just once a week, probably not even that often. And just go ahead and disable any companies that you wouldn't wanna invest in, even if it's a company that you shop with every day. And so what about the money that's still gonna be transferred from those companies that you either disabled or that are private companies? And so an example of a private company that I shop with on a regular basis is Publix. Publix, for those who don't know, it's a grocery store. I think it's only in the Southeast uh, United States at the moment, but it's a grocery store that I go to all of the time, but they're not a publicly traded company. And so I still have a dollar transferred for every time that I go to Publix, and I probably go to Publix at least once, if not twice a week. And so instead of keeping that money in savings, what I used to do when I first signed up for the app is that after maybe a month or two or whenever I decided to open up the app and check to see you know, how much money I had in there, what stocks I was invested in, I would then just transfer that cash back to my checking account because I didn't wanna have the savings sitting there. I'd rather invest it or use that to pay bills or use that to buy more items at the stores that I'm shopping with anyway. But back in January of 2021, they added the feature to actually allow you to buy shares of stock. And so maybe there's another company that you would want to invest in, but you don't shop there that often. And so for example, I don't go to the Apple store that often, but Apple would be a company that I may want to shop with. Or I may not shop with Amazon as much as I do with Publix or with the number one company as, as far as my personal portfolio. And I'll show you screenshots of that later in this video. The store that I go to the most is Costco. And I would rather invest more in Amazon or in Apple or maybe some other company. And so instead of having just cash sitting there as savings, you're not currently earning any interest on the cash that you have in the, in the brokerage account. You can actually use that cash to buy other stocks. Now the one limitation is that you can only buy stocks that you already own shares of. And so the only way you can own shares is based on the transactions that you make on your credit card or your debit card. And so once you've made a transaction with one of the companies that you would want to invest in, you can now choose to take some of your cash or all of your cash and invest that into any of the companies that you already hold shares of. And so this is an interesting feature and I also think it's a very important feature. As I mentioned with Warren Buffett, one of the pieces of advice that he gives to new investors, old investors, whoever, is to invest in what you know. And so even Warren Buffett, he wasn't on the Apple or the Amazon train. He wasn't a person that invested in technology up until maybe a couple of years ago because he didn't necessarily understand the technology. And so he only invested in what he understood. He did his research and he invested in those companies. And most of those companies were products that he personally purchased. And so you'll see quotes of him talking or you'll see pictures of him drinking Coke. He owns a lot of Coca-Cola stock and it's a product that he consumes on a daily basis. And so this would automatically put you in that category of investing what you know, because all of your stock investments in the Griffin app are from companies that you've actually shopped with. So you have to know at least a little something about that company if you're going out and purchasing their product or their service. And so even if you're a shopaholic, you can take advantage of investing in the companies that you shop with all the time. Of course, the more you shop, the more that you're gonna invest in these individual companies. And so it's kind of a win-win if you are a shopaholic and if that company that you're shopping with on a regular basis is a company that's growing over a long-term period. But if you're too much of a shopaholic and you're gonna need some of that cash, what you can actually do is each week on Tuesday, that's the last moment that you have for that week to decline a transfer into the Griffin app. And so if you don't wanna invest on any particular week, you can choose to skip the bank transfer for that week. So just make sure and you'll get a notification from Griffin as well to let you know that 
a certain dollar amount is going to be transferred on Wednesday. You need to make that decision at the latest Tuesday to make sure that that transaction does not go through. And so when it comes to investing, I really like apps that are automated, ones that don't take a lot of your time out of your day in order to invest. And then in this case of investing in what you know, Griffin makes it really easy by literally only investing in the companies that you shop with or whose services you use on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. And so I'm gonna show you my personal portfolio with Griffin. These are obviously companies that I've had transactions with since August of 2020 when I started using the app. And so as you can see between August of 2020 and May of 2021, I have over 200 dollars invested in stock meaning that i've had about 200 transactions as well you know not counting the growth of the companies that i'm invested in i've had at least 200 transactions and that's not counting the cash that i previously had in the account and so as you can see from this screenshot i recently had over a hundred dollars just in savings sitting in the account i transferred most of that back to my checking account but i did leave a little bit of the money over so that i can invest that cash in some of the stocks that I already own within the Griffin app. And so you see on this screenshot here, what you would do is just select whichever company that you would like to buy their stock, click the buy button, and then on the next page, you will see how much money you have in order to invest in any company that you choose, enter the amount that you want to invest, and then go ahead and buy more of the stocks that you would like to own more of. And like I mentioned, you can only buy stocks that you already own. So that means it would have to be a company that you've already made a transaction with, with the linked account that you connected, whether it's a credit card or a debit card. And then once you've had a transaction with that company, then you can invest more if you have cash sitting in your account, just by choosing to buy more or to sell. If there's a company that you've had a transaction with and you don't actually wanna own that company's stock, then you can choose to sell that company. It's the same process and then you can use that cash that's left over to either transfer back to your checking account or to buy stocks that you actually want to own. And so in order to avoid in the future having to sell any of the stocks that you don't want to own, make sure you disable that specific company so that you don't have a transaction the next time. Griffin will just transfer a dollar into the savings portion of your brokerage account. And so when you think about it from a basic standpoint, the more that you, as well as the hundreds and millions of other people in the United States, the more they shop with or use the services of a particular company, on average, the more likely that company and their stock value is gonna rise in the future. Now, of course, based on their management, they can mismanage their money. There are many things that they can do to where maybe their stock price isn't reflected on based on the popularity or the regularity that people shop or use the services of a particular company. But in general, you would think that any company that people shop with on a regular basis and they spend a lot of money there, more than likely it's gonna rise or at the very minimum, it's gonna maintain its value over the long term. And so if you see yourself or the people around you who are increasing the amount that they spend at a particular company or the services that they use, the prices are continuously going up, but people are still using those products and services, then that is probably a good company to invest in. And so you can tell just based on your own transactions, which companies may actually be doing well, although there may be other companies that you don't have a lot of transactions with that you wanna invest in. For instance, maybe a Netflix, you only have one transaction per month if you have a subscription with Netflix. And so you may actually wanna invest more into Netflix, even though it's a, not a company that you have a lot of transactions with. So again, this is a great way to invest automatically in the companies that you already shop with, that you already use their products and their services. And then you can actually benefit from the growth of those companies because you're automatically investing in those companies by purchasing fractional shares of these companies and as long as you hold over the long term, and these are companies that are gonna be valuable over the long term, then you will get that benefit as well. Not only just giving to those companies and making those companies rich, but also becoming a part owner of those businesses by using the Griffin app to purchase fractional shares of those companies. And so let us know what you think about the app based on what you've heard in this video. If you're already a user of the Griffin app, let us know your experience and let us know what you do with the cash sitting in your account. Do you let it sit there and treat it as a savings account? Do you transfer it back to your checking account? Or do you use it to buy more shares of companies that you don't have a lot of transactions with, but you wanna invest more in those companies? And so again, make sure you comment below. 
Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.